I wanted to talk to those people. Rude. Do, 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 do. Sup, Lavenzu. Lady Lavenza. Hello. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I see. Exchanging common expressions upon meeting like humans do, it has a rather pleasant feeling. <laughs> well, that's good. But that is irrelevant. Let's turn to the matter at hand. As I told you yesterday, there's something I wish to tell you. But first, please gather your other friends here. I will give him a buzz. Here? You want to meet in the nurse's office? This place is filled with the cognition of bed rest. Maintaining my existence in a reality controlled by someone like Maruki is no simple feat. But the exhaustion that it induces is limited by this place's cognition, so I may converse with you all in person here. I... see. Let us continue this conversation once everyone involved has convened. Until that time, I will provide my eyes a much needed rest. Hmm? Wait, rest? Uh, Lady Lavenza? She's zonked. Oh, I guess we should get everyone in here. Biddy boop boop boop. Infiltration success. More new outfits for Futaba and Yusuke, I think. I'm rather surprised no one took notice of us. Considering how I don't have an adequate excuse for the school to approve your being here, we're lucky it went as well as it did. As long as you maintain an air of confidence, you can fool just about anybody into thinking you belong. God damn it. I must say, though, I hadn't expected you to actually reach out to me for something like this. Well, it's just as we said before. We've accepted your offer to work together. Now's not the time to let personal stuff get in the way of our goal. But if you ever betray us again, we'll make sure you regret it. All right, then. That's no concern of mine anyway. Remember what I told you all before? We share a mutual interest. Until Maruki is defeated, we have a deal to uphold. That sure fucking sounds like you're saying once he's defeated, you're gonna try again. It appears that everyone's arrived. Does this mean you're ready to begin? Oh, she was rubbing the sleep out of her eyes. That's cute. Uh, ain't that our line? Care to fill us in? Yes. I wished to speak with you about the circumstances that led this Maruki to alter reality as you know it. As well as the true nature of his power. Sounds good to me. You know all of that? I admit there will be a degree of speculation involved, but only to a small extent. First, I will explain the situation with the current reality. I believe that Maruki has altered the cognition of the masses. In other words, it's thought that the alterations he's made are the result of his meddling with mementos. He changed mementos? How is that even possible? How'd it come back? Wait, don't forget about our experience with the Metanav in Maruki's palace. Seems like this kind of thing has a habit of sticking around despite our expectations. Mementos is the cognition of the masses given form. If that man is truly capable of controlling individuals' cognitions, and that man were also to gain access to mementos, it would be no surprise that he could impact everyone's cognitions and affect reality itself. Uh, could he really have done all that? I mean, he did literally watch us, like, fucking come out of a palace, right? <laughs> so, we may have been his gateway in some way. Like how, when Akechi was watching us go into Okumaras and stuff. I mean, 
It's assumed that Dr. Maruki has the power to control cognition, right? Exactly. That man's controlling of cognition... Let's see. Why don't we refer to his power as actualization? Most likely, that actualization is a power unique to a persona. Ooh, I wonder what persona Maruki would have. In other words, this man named Maruki is... He's a persona user? Huh, wait a minute. Whenever I fucking said, I hope Akechi has a palace ages ago because I didn't like him and I wanted to take him down, all of you went, you can't have a palace if you have a persona. It's not possible. But is this actually disproving that right now? That's impossible. There's no way to have a persona and a palace at the same time. Wow, Morgana is, uh, is the comment section. Determining when Maruki first awakened to his power is wholly impossible. However, by the time he crossed your paths, there's no doubt that he was making use of his actualization. Although he may have only been doing so subconsciously. Maybe it's more complicated than that. We'll see. But if he really does have a palace and a persona, then... Fucking, we still could take a catchy down. <laughs> Obviously we won't, because I'm pretty sure they only added one palace, but man, I would fucking love to do that. Even if it is just his subconscious, he's using a persona in the real world. So, his ability to make Yoshisawa-san think she was Kasumi-chan... It was most likely through the use of actualization. Still though, even if we assume that Maruki has unique persona abilities, such as the case with him and myself. We still need to determine how he used that power on Mementos as a whole, rather than a single individual. Right. Even if there were some kind of power that could affect Mementos, it's on a whole other level from what we've seen so far. A single person just shouldn't be capable of all that. And yet. That's true. Changing reality just by thinking about it isn't something humans do. It's something that, like, gods do. Oh, fuck me. Don't tell me Maruki's somehow also a god. I've only just finished cleaning up the fucking blood from the last god. And what if he became such a god? What? The god of control. Indeed. The being in Mementos that you all defeated was a false deity that the masses deludedly clung to. It is easy to conclude that Maruki simply took over the false god's position when it disappeared. Motherfucker! Took over his position? What do you mean? So you're saying society thinks of Doc as a god now or something? Now, the Phantom Thieves are the ones who gained the masses' support after defeating this so-called god of control. So it would follow that the masses would turn to the Phantom Thieves next as their savior. In that case, why did they instead turn to Maruki, who did none of the work the Phantom Thieves did? Because he offered happiness, I guess. Mm. The masses were invested in the Phantom Thieves, not Maruki. Wait, you what? What, what? what? what do you mean? We, we never wish, wish for anything, for anything like, like this. Like this. Is that really true? true, true. It's most likely because... We chose Maruki. We did? What? What? After we defeated the God of Control, we wished for reality to be like Dr. Maruki described it. And it happened? Did we wish that? Can you uh, give me a flashback to that? I remember doing any wishing with you guys and Doc. I mean, <laughs> when would we have even had the chance to? What about our counseling? Oh, this is what I said about uh, at some point. They each had individual sessions with him. You can't change the past, but you want but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it'd definitely be better if none of this had happened at all, but well, no matter what path you might have to take to get there, I hope your track dreams will still do you some good in the end. Heh, <laughs> thanks. Looks like you all walked right into the spider's parlor. 
There's no way of knowing how many of those situations were intentionally orchestrated by that man. However, the result is still the same. A desire for his actualization was seeded within your hearts. Shit! Thus, I have no doubt that it was your own desires that led to their actualization. We really fucked it up this time. So this is all our fault, huh? We're the ones who told him the cognitive world really exists, too. It has to be stopped. Right, let's fight. If this is our own fault, we've got to be the ones to fix it. Yes, this realization changes none of what we must do. Very well. Then allow me to proceed. This world is in a very unstable condition currently. On the day that the God of Control fused mementos with the real world, the merging was undone through your efforts, and the two worlds are now attempting to return to their initial states. So, what you're saying is this world has reverted to a state where the fusion with mementos hasn't been totally undone. That explains why Maruki's palace was visible in Odaiba. Even as we speak, Maruki is still influencing this world in places where its boundaries are blurred. As slow a pace as it may be, he still continues to actualize the world of the masses as a whole. Should this continue, reality shall merge with mementos once more. The two worlds will again become one. When that happens, Anyone trapped within the actualized world can never again awaken to the original one. Oof. No. This issue goes beyond the masses as well. Although you are all Persona users, it would be next to impossible to defy Maruki in a world completely under his control. Yeah, that's a bit of a yikes. It's one thing to offer people a choice between one option or another. It's a completely different thing to make it so that there's no way for them to change their mind, you know? It's a one-time deal. If he's gonna be making it so that yeah, once once he merges them, they can never be it can never be awake you can never be awakened from your new reality. That is a bit yikes. A little bit yikes. To be clear, once the two worlds conclude their fusion, there will be no chance of your success in this mission. And I believe this fusion will conclude in one month's time. We only have a month. I mean, we promised Maruki we'd fight him in like 25 days or something, so... You know. If memory serves me correctly, February 3rd was the date Dr. Maruki gave us, right? Could he have possibly chosen the time limit based on when his actualization will be completed? If so, that means he knows exactly what he's doing, which... I wasn't sure. I was like, does he know that he's making this a one-time deal that people can never wake up from if they change their minds? But uh, if, if that is the reason he chose the date, then he absolutely knows what's going on there. It's possible. If that's the case, we don't got another choice except to steal his treasure by then. We'll need to secure our route to the treasure by the second so we can send our calling card. Then, on the day of, we're most likely going to have to fight Maruki. Allow me to produce the calling card. This is certain to be our final card. I'll pour my heart and soul into its creation. Ah, oh, they keep saying that. Sai, this is our final mission. Shido, this is our final mission. Going into mementos. This is our final mission. Maruki, this is our final mission. <laughs> be that as it may, there are still some unsolved questions. Uh, well, we know who the palace's ruler is, so you mean the meta now? Right. What's the deal with the palace's name? Doesn't seem to affect the app's functions, but... That must also be a product of Maruki's cognition. He most likely learned that you could somehow infiltrate the metaverse. As long as he permits your existence, your method of infiltration will not entirely disappear either. Oh, I'm so glad that we are permitted to exist. Cheers, lad. However, 
In his heart, he must have feared you would learn his identity as the palace's ruler. Perhaps such a feeling took the form of hiding the ruler's name from you. But in that case, why didn't Dr. Maruki just actualize us out of existence entirely? Because he's not a bad dude, I don't think. He doesn't want to hurt us. He's been trying to avoid a actual fight with us. Sort of. I mean, he fought us in with other means and henchmen, but it's, I don't know. Maybe he wants to save us. Yeah, that, yeah, that's it. it. He did. He did say he wants to come to an understanding with us as well. Maruki told us he wants us to accept his world. It may be hard to believe, but since we mutually benefit from his actualization, maybe he really does want us to submit. Sorry, even if it does fix shit for us, I, I just can't accept the world getting treated like that. Let's start the infiltration tomorrow, yeah? And by tomorrow, you mean... What was the deadline? February 3rd? So, like, February 1st? No, that's a bit... That's a little... That's a little too late. The end of... We'll call it the end of January-ish. And you? Sound good? You're willing to ask me as well. Nope, but, uh... Don't got an option. <laughs> Duh, dude. The Phantom Thieves don't act unless it's a unanimous vote. I mean, I do like his, uh, the version of him in the palace. I like his unhinged, crazy side out on show. That is very fun, so I don't particularly mind. But just in general, it still makes no sense. Hmm. Fine, then. You know I have no intention of accepting Maruki's world anyway. And that settles that. Wait, what about Yoshizawa-san? Yeah, she should probably have been in this meeting, to be honest. We may not have summoned her as one of the Phantom Thieves. This definitely involves her as well. Maybe we should fill her in on our situation once she comes to terms with her own. What she does with that information, though, that's up to her. Right. If that concludes matters, I shall continue to watch over you, Trickster. Cheers. Please show me the path that you choose for humanity. Cheers, love. Hey, there's Sumire. She was listening in. It's so weird not seeing her with her hair tied back. <laughs> I just... Guess we might as well close up for the night. Hey, once you're done washing that, you can go ahead and call it a... Welcome. Hey! Um... Yoshizawa? Have a seat. She's here to see you, right? Now, don't worry about finishing up. I'll take care of it later. Sorry for coming over so late. You can come over anytime. And thank you for the coffee. I'm a, I'm a fully full-fledged barista now. Is that the word for it? Yeah. So Juro taught me everything he knows. It's delicious. Damn straight. Mm. Would you mind if I got something off my chest? Go for it. Thank you. So, to tell the truth, I saw you all go into the nurse's office today, and, um, I sort of eavesdropped on your conversation. About both? <laughs> About Maruki? You've all found the paths you want to take, and are following them with such confidence, whereas I'm simply... Like Dr. Maruki said before, I ran from the truth. I couldn't handle the fact that Kasumi died because of my actions. My memories are still a bit hazy, but even when I remembered that I'm really Sumire, I didn't want to accept it. I was still running from reality, where Kasumi is gone, where I had to live for Kasumi instead of as her. 
Do you still want to run? No. Like I said earlier, I realized something when I saw you all striving to push onward. I can't keep running like this. But now that Kasumi's gone, I have no idea what to do with myself. Senpai, what should I do? Join the squad. You have to decide, not me. <sighs> you can be awfully firm sometimes, Senpai. Heh. <laughs> There's a but joke in there. Absolutely correct. I must thank you for allowing me to unload all of this onto you. I'm still not completely sure what I should do, but I plan to think more on it. I've got to figure out what to do with my life now. Oh, I love her. Let's reform society. Sure. Tomorrow we're going to the palace. Wait. We are? I thought tomorrow was just like a first day that we can go to the palace, but I would choose not to. Tomorrow we're going to the palace. We're going to take back the world. The real world. P P P P. Rewriting reality. I would never have thought such a thing possible. Not only that, but this palace is ruled by a Persona user. How does that make any sense? I know god moding when I see it. I was looking at that word like, what the fuck's that word? God moding. I've never seen it written like that. Obviously, everyone's heard of like a god mode, but I've never seen the word god moding before. I know god moding when I see it. At this point, he basically is a god, right? This shit makes Shido look small time. We need to come up with a plan. That's a good point. We should meet up tomorrow. Sounds good. Speaking of which, how should we contact Akechi-kun? Uh, let's send a carrier pigeon, and if it doesn't reach him in time, no harm done. I guess we could let him back in the group chat, right? No! Not a fucking precious sacred group chat. Yep, that'd be the quickest. <laughs> Where's my fuck off option? <sighs> Let's put him in. Alright, I'll take care of it. Makoto, how could you betray me like this? We're supposed to be dating. <laughs> Thanks. One month to go, huh? We'd better come up with a plan. That time is going to go by fast. Oh, I don't want it to go by fast. I don't want this game to end. The fact that we are now in the final section, man. Oh, I'm going to be heartbroken when it ends. Actually going to be heartbroken. Thieves still updated. We love to see it. For real? I can't believe he can control mementos. This guy is different from the others. Maruki's gonna be a tough one to take down. But to take him down, we shall. Hey, hey. We can't fail. Let's stop Maruki. It's something only we can do. Can't go downstairs. Hey. Save your strength. Can't work out, I assume. Hey. There's always tomorrow. Yes, another story day that we won't be able to work out on, probably. We shall see. Hey, hey. This isn't going to be easy. Let's keep our guard up. Slip. Bop. No, he's been added. We're heading to the palace today, yeah? A good idea, I'd say. Although, we mustn't rush, of course. Yeah, honestly, if we want to accomplish anything, we gotta get out there. I agree. Is that alright, leader? We should be careful. Hell yeah! We got this! In that case, let's meet at the hideout after school. Okay. Alright, the hideout after school then. Should we tell Yoshizawa? Well, we should probably still leave her alone. Boo, boo. 
Tell everyone to meet at the hideout. We should all talk this over before we infiltrate the palace. Hmm. Interesting pose there, Arn. You gonna, uh... You gonna put that leg down at any point? <laughs> I feel like though your arms are gonna start to ache if you keep trying to hold yourself up like this. And that leg is definitely gonna get tired. <laughs> it seems everyone has arrived. Let us begin. February 3rd is the date we agreed on with Dr. Maruki. We've got to go find that treasure already. Once that date passes, it's over. We all get that, right? <laughs> well. Oh no, not well. <laughs> Will. We we'll have to discover a route by February 2nd, to be more precise. That's another way to look at it. And nice, you actually remembered? Yeah. Of course I did. It wouldn't be a terrible idea to secure our route sooner rather than later. We must be deliberate, however. We have no idea what's going to happen. Right. Yeah, Dr. Marugi's pretty much got the power of a god. I doubt anything's going to go smoothly. We'd better not let our guard down. Very well. Let us go. <laughs> it's the new it's the new sound of going into a palace. Oh, it's... Because it's not the same as the old transition. Hey, she's already here. Hello, everyone. Sup? Why are you here? You're going to fight Dr. Maruki, yes? Shit, yeah. Please, take me with you. Uh, but you can't go in dressed like that. Don't worry. Pretty sure she's hiding a leotard somewhere. Please? I'm done running away. There it is. I can't keep relying on people like Senpai. I want to live life as Sumire. <laughs> Color me impressed. Looks like she'll do just fine here. Time to team up. Thank you. In that case, we gotta come up with a code name for you. A what now? Oh shit, yeah, I forgot we never gave her one earlier. Because she was never really on the team. It wouldn't be right if you were the only one going by your real name, you know? Oh, you're right. Joker, got any suggestions? Leotard Violet Appetite. Well, Leotard, Leotard and Appetite just sound dumb. Violet, I'm not sure. Is that a violet flower that she's got on her front there or something? I mean, it's not the color violet, obviously. I don't know. Oh, that's right. Sumire in English is violet. Ah. Uh, yeah, that sounds awesome. Well, that explains that then. Never knew. Violet. Yes, let's go with that. Excellent. Now remember, everyone. Violet. Not violent. Violet. <laughs> yes, thank you for clarifying. I am surrounded by absolute fools. No, there's only one fool here, and it's it's definitely you. Are we done? We should probably get moving. I know, I know. Jeez. Come on, Violet. Let's roll. Yeah. Um. Um, so what are we supposed to do now? First, we secure a route to the treasure. We've got to know where it is before we can steal it, after all. Mm. We've already checked most of the places on the map, though. Looks like we'll need to go even deeper into the palace. Uh, hold on. Let me take a look real quick. Yes. There's a locked security door here. I'd say this is the best place to investigate. Except, I'm getting some weird shadow readings, so be careful. Joker! That's over in front of the auditorium. Let's get going. Check door in front of the auditorium. Hello. <laughs> just just chilling. Just hanging out. Right, who have we got? Uh, okay, we do want you to... Ryuji, I'm sorry, man. We're taking our girlfriend. Joker. You'd like me as part of your team? Sure, I don't mind. I'll be counting on um... you. So long, Ryuji. I won't let you down. There we go. Oh, everyone here, man. 
for the first time. The full squad. The Avengers have assembled. Love to see it. Love to see it. Do 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 Hmm. That's strange. I don't sense any shadows. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why, but there aren't any shadows in this area. Where'd they all go? Dunno, dunno. Do 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 Oh. Hey, just a little more to go. Violet. Are you holding up okay? Yes! Sorry, it's just... I feel a little... I feel just a little... off. Oh. <gasps> My outfit... Are you sure you're okay? I let my guard down for a second, but... I swear I'm fine. So sorry for making you all worry. That's fine and all, but don't hold us back either. If you push yourself harder than you're capable of handling, you'll endanger everyone on your side too. Security level crazy! Enemies approaching! They're fast. I don't know what the heck they are, but we'd better move it. Should we get back to it? If things start looking bad, we'll retreat right away. Until then, we'll back you up with everything we've got. Okay. Oh wait, have these respawned? Oh, I probably could have. I probably could have picked up a few back there then, because uh, I didn't really. I just assumed that they were still empty and didn't check. <laughs> do, 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 do. Shall we take a break? Let's see what everyone's got to say. Hmm. We're up against an opponent entirely different from what we've seen so far. Let's prepare ourselves one last time. Do, 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 do. Um, I still can't forgive Crow for what he did. I'm only working with him because I really believe we need his help here. We literally don't. Are you mad? We defeated actual God without his help. We defeated him with great ease. There is literally no need for him to be on the team whatsoever. I just... After all, this is a job for the Phantom Thieves. Which he is not a part of. <sighs> I never thought we'd return to the Metaverse again, let alone for something like this. Joker Senpai. Ready when you are, Joker Senpai. I should write something. Pop a fat save. Do, 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 do. Oh, dead on 170 hours. Dead on. Still got you. Okay, okay. Um... What was I looking for? I was just looking for something. And it's gone. I don't remember. Oh, I did want to check before, though, whether we have... Uh... Exams. Is this going to be exams? Yeah, final exams. God damn it. We do have more exams in Feb. Treasure room deadline, calling card deadline, plan execution deadline. Yikes. National Foundation Day. Woo! Final exam scores posted. Oh, and Valentine's Day. Man, feels bad when you have to get your exam scores on Valentine's Day. Hopefully we get some nice time with Makoto. Closing ceremony. Vernal Equinox Day. I assume the game... Because like if the, if the if the end of the final palace, if the final boss fight happens February the third, you'd think there would be that much more time after that. But the fact that the calendar goes up to here with events, like there's an event on March twentieth, 
I guess we could skip days because it did skip us forward like a week at one point. But I would assume the game will at least last up until here. I just don't want it to end, man. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I don't. I just don't want it to end. I will. I will literally cry. I will literally cry. The thought of the thought of finishing, and never, like. There, there not being any more to go, you know? It's such a sad one. It's just, I love these guys so much. All but one of them. Lol. Anyway, that is where we are going to leave it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time as we continue on in the palace. The final palace of Persona 5 Royal. Thanks for watching. See you then.